everybody it's Sharon here welcome back to my channel for those who are returning and welcome to any new subscribers that may be visiting for the first time so I'm working on my current journal and I decided to turn the camera on I had been very busy since I saw you last and I'll just share with you what I've been doing I have put my cover together I have finished inking my pages I've attached my laces and I have gone through and decided where I wanted some of my items. Before I show you that though, I will just show you, these are the pockets that we worked on in our last video. Now I have them in the order that I would like to put them in the journal. So I need to be careful not to mess that up. But I will bring them closer. I haven't actually pressed them in a book like I had suggested I was going to. Um, what I have done is I attach my papers and my labels. I sewed the fabric on first with a zigzag and then I went in and I stitched the sides with a straight stitch. I've also attached, oh sorry, I've also popped a little bit of fray stopper around the outside of this fabric because it does have a tendency to fray. Now I didn't add that until after I'd put the pocket together and um, I could have done it before but I wanted to do it after I had cut it and I didn't actually cut it to size until once I'd sewn it on so so just flipping you through I'll make sure I'm focused as you see there there is a bit of curl but once they're glued down onto the journal page that will take care of that so I'm not particularly worried about that really love those i love how that sheer fabric still shows the detail of the paper but it it um softens it a little bit i just think it's really really pretty okay and the other thing i have done while or before i turn the camera back on was make some fabric clips so these are my fabric clips and I love them. I'm so happy with the way they've turned out. So I have one with um, a highlight of pink. So I've used more neutral tones and I've highlighted one colour. And the blue to bring out, so I've gone with the pinks in the paper and the blues in the paper and then a more neutral tone. So I have those ready to pop into my journal and here it is, it's so pretty. Okay, so just making sure I'm focused. So I've attached my, actually not only should I check focus, I should check and make sure you can see properly. I have lots of things around me because I've been really, really busy. So I've attached my inside papers, I've just used fabric glue and popped those down and then I've done the same with the... <laughs> Golly gosh, I've done the same with the calico, I've just used fabric glue to attach that over the top and I do have a slight overhang, I don't know if you can see that very well a very subtle overhang across the top so I did get my uh, glitter glue and I just popped a line across the top to make sure it was attached really well as close to the edge as possible and then I have a slightly longer piece at the bottom and I have done the same there I've just noticed it's catching a little bit there which is fine when the journal is closed that little piece is kind of curling up a little bit and I actually really love that so I've left it as is okay and then my inside papers so all my laces are attached all the inking is done and I'm really loving it so I have oh I also popped some satiny ribbon across just across the top of the front pocket on each of these I just because I'd used it on the bookmark I thought it might be a really nice touch and help tie it all in together so I think that may be a little bit of a theme in this journal um, just looking I've got some paper clips in here 
so I popped this belly band in here I haven't made my last belly band so I may do that I'm um, I was about to start that when I decided to turn the camera on and I was going to pop the first one of these here so I'm just attaching them in where I'd like them at this stage no proper placement or anything like that just so I can get a feel for how the journal is coming along and I have my so that is my last page and I'm thinking maybe on this page for my first fabric flip oh gosh that's pretty Okay, so that's the first signature. So then this is where this little pocket goes. Sorry, my arm is in the way. The curl on the pocket makes it a little bit tricky. Okay, so that's that. Then I have trying to figure out where I would like my fabric flip and I have my bookmark there in here I think I have the first one in a similar position so I may swap things around just so that they're a little bit different in each signature I'm not sure oh my gosh I love that so so pretty okay and then in my last signature So perhaps the fabric flip can go here. There isn't one of these fabric flips. I don't have a favourite. I love them all. Which doesn't always happen. Sometimes I have a favourite. So. so my pocket goes here. And then as I've mentioned, I don't have a belly band in this signature yet. Oh, there is one more thing that I've done. I think it's in this signature. There's my layered pocket. You can see the satin ribbon on there. I don't think I showed you the satin ribbon on the... The middle one so has a little detail on the outside of that one but they're both a similar color those two this was the other little pocket that I've created so I've just taken my snippet roll so I'm gonna bring this closer I've taken my snippet roll and it's a wider snippet roll that I have so I have two different sizes um, I think the other one is about half the width and I've taken some, it's actually a sheer ribbon. I will get it. Just bear with me. Popped it away. I believe it was this one. It's just, it's a sheer ribbon that has like a satiny finish on the top and the bottom or on either end and I have wrapped that around the outside of my snippet roll 
and then just zigzagged around the outside of it. When I got to the corners, it's all a continuous piece. When I got to the corners, I just kind of folded them. So I, I think I sewed to about here and I'm hoping that's focused. I think I sewed to about here and I made sure I had my foot on this side of the bottom. I turned it around and then I kind of mitered the corners as best I can to be able to continue and still have a relatively flat um, corner. And because my snippet roll was a little bit uneven, obviously the pocket isn't going to be a perfect straight line, but I really love the way that finished it off and it gives it a completely different look to my snippet roll. I'll get that and show you what I was working with. So this is my snippet roll and I'm tripping over my chair, sorry. So that's my snippet roll. That's what I started with. So I've just cut off two of the squares there which are actually diamonds when they're that way um and i've edged around the outside the top of it i didn't do the edging all i've done is cover it over with and i've shown this on previous videos i'll see if i can link that in the description below if anybody has me seen that video it's just a little strip of calico and i've actually used the factory edge on this one and I've sewn on some really pretty yarn that I have here. Um, and I just think it makes a really pretty highlight when it's done like that. So that was how I finished off that pocket. Okay, so I think that brings you up to speed. Like I said, I've just zigzagged on my laces on each of the pattern papers all the way through my journal okay so oh the other thing I, I did was sew around the outside of these tuck spots um i think i'd mentioned when i made them i wasn't sure if i would or i wouldn't i did one and i was like it's just one more element one more detail so i went ahead and i did that on each of them just with a straight stitch Okay, I think that is everything I had to share. I hope you're all fabulous. I'm getting very excited about how this journal is coming together and I'm ready to move forward. So I was going to work on my next belly band and I have trimmed, this was actually a little scrap that I had. I'm going to check my focus again, just in case I didn't do it. Um, it's a scrap that I had from when I made some of the pockets and tucks earlier. It was just a fraction too wide, so I've taken a little strip off that. And as you see, I've ended up with a slightly uneven edge, perfectly okay with that. And I've inked it up and I'm just going to attach this. It is something I was going to do off camera and I was like, I'm in my craft room, I'm just popping along doing my thing so I might as well turn the camera on and say hi to you all and I feel like I had lots to share anyway so wanted to be able to bring you up to speed I'm really loving that I don't know it's it's not completely different to what I usually make but I do feel like it's a little different and I'm really enjoying that um it's amazing how a different project or a different theme can reinvigorate your creative processes. Okay. Again, burnishing down when I use my glue stick because I just feel like I get a better connection. And this is just a, um, a page out of one of my glue books that I'm using. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's a page that I'm using out of another book because I wanted the height for this. But if the height of your glue book suits your... Whoops, a day. Little thread there. Suits your journal that you're making, you can totally use one of the... Um, pages out of that if you've folded it the same way 
I folded this one into thirds and you can see that in the video where I made these I've made two so I'm talking to you like you watched all my videos it's a big assumption really isn't it okay where was oh my gosh it's looking so pretty I'm excited there um, when I made these belly bands I was going to make the third one then and I just ran out of time and I'm sorry that that video ended so abruptly um, I ran out of battery so that doesn't happen very often but it did happen and <laughs> I was just like oh gosh that's awkward I was chatting away to you guys and I was about to finish up and I checked the camera and <laughs> there wasn't even a light on there so whoopsie so I've got some scraps of fabric I've been having a think about what I wanted to do with this and I did have this strip of microscope slide images that I was thinking about using I'm still not sure if I'll go with that or if I'll do something different but I wanted to have a play with some fabric on here so and just thinking this particular fabric may need some fabric stopper which I didn't think about until just now so just getting a little piece of baking paper and I've not long had it out from doing the pockets that I did so I should have kept it out so I just popped a little bit on there and I literally just used my finger Okay, so, whoops, I've got the fan on. It's going to be an interesting video, I'm afraid. Um, it is incredibly warm here today. Just need to get a baby wipe. Yes, incredibly warm here today, so the fan is a necessity, I'm afraid. I don't really know what I'm doing here I'm just playing because I can I had some scraps and I was like hmm, maybe I can utilize those and I have this little piece so this piece I think will need some fray stopper as well this is the same fabric I used on the pockets Like, is that the side I used or is that upside down? I think it is. So that fray stopper has disappeared into nothingness. And I did get this fray stopper at my local spotlight. It was on clearance at the time. So I think I only paid $5 for it. It's not very... Yes, $5 for the bottle and... A little really does go a long way I'm really grateful that I did buy it when I bought it I know it was a little bit of a an impulse buy I'd not used it before and I was like do I really need it and because it was on sale I was like well if I'm going to try it now is the time to try it when I don't have to pay a lot of money for it so um, it was a good purchase. It was a very good purchase. Just going to add, whoops, I've closed it. Not sure if I did that top end or not because I was too busy talking. I think I did. 
Okay, so I'm just going to pop that one to the side. Now, now I need to decide what I'm doing. So I have a lot of kind of negative space on here that I'm thinking, I'm wondering if I want more of this as well. Um, in which case I need to Sorry guys, like I said, I don't have a plan, so I'm I'm just playing. You can see it going on this fabric a little bit easier than the white. <laughs> I had that happen when I did some earlier with this fabric. This one frays really, really badly, which was part of the reason I decided to get the fray stopper out. This one and the white sheer is the same. Um, and I ended up with pieces stuck to me then too. The one thing with this fray stopper is that it kind of evaporates so I don't like to put, that's dried up now, so I don't like to put too much on my, I don't like to empty too much out at a time because I just, I feel like if it's going to evaporate then I'm going to lose it. That fan is fabulous by the way, but wants my fabric okay so I'm done with that it's a little bit tacky still I think I might need some paper clips to help me out I could turn that fan down guys, but I'm, I'm really not going. Now I have ended up with a bit of a mess on this fabric because I wasn't being quite as careful with that fray stopper as I probably should have been. It is scratching off quite nicely. I think that way. Okay, and then Again, just playing, just seeing where it takes me. I really, really like that. Now I don't know whether don't think I want to use that so I'm wondering I know what I did want to do or try so this is just a scrap it tore while I was tea staining it and don't want it to be wider than my piece of paper here so 
what I'm going to do because I don't want to measure is I'm going to I just want to try and make sure I have a relatively straight line okay for argument's sake that has ended up being almost one and a half inches and I'm just going to make a couple of little envelopes so just bringing my two pieces of paper together and I'm wondering how long I want it This is really just me trying to work out what size I want them. Oops. So that will flip over that way. Very cute. Perfect. Okay. So before I move forward, I don't know if I want another one for here or not yet. I just want to cut or tear another piece to size. I may even make it up actually. Might as well do the rest. As you can see, my paper wasn't perfectly straight. It was pretty good though. Oops. Okay, another little scrap. Okay, I want to ink these up. Again, when I'm inking, I'm just kind of adding gilding to the edges with my Distress Ink. And you probably won't see the back, but I'm inking that
just in case there's any imperfection showing. can't decide if I want the third one so I'm going to make it up if I don't use it then that's fine so the idea is to bring the two corners at the bottom together so that they are straight I do have just a little bit of a lip when I fold that over so here I'm not folding right on the um, crease there okay and then using the bottom as a guide to fold it up and when I fold it I'm just making sure this edge here is straight because I know that that's the outside of my paper and it was a straight edge and then I'm folding that down and I'm looking to have a slight gap between and not very big but just a slight gap between my paper that didn't fold very straight between that fold and the top okay so I'm going to ink this I have it the right way around. So When I'm laying these down, I'm just trying to make sure that there is a connection between each one. And then I'm just wondering if I actually really, really love that one. I just haven't decided how these pieces should incorporate. I don't know whether I want that over the top or not. 
jury's out on that. That's very cute. And that dark writing kind of marries with... I'm just looking to see what options I have. I'm picking up the dark in each of these which is probably what drew me to that one I like this one because it has the clock on it I really like those I don't know if I want that sheer fabric over the top I like it but I want to see it without I really like that without okay so So I need to ink these. What I'm thinking is I don't necessarily want a lot of glue on here. I'm thinking about sewing around the whole thing. So can I... I want to get this placement right. Oops, and I just remembered that that has to sit underneath, so that was bad. Glue has dried because I didn't time that well. bit of glue under there I'm probably not going about this the easiest way but kind of feel like I have them where I want them so to 
just hold that down a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to ink this. I'm hoping you can still see what I'm doing. Oops. <laughs> Oops, I've done it again. I'm not sure I've got quite enough glue on those envelopes to hold them. I may have to go back in and add a little bit more. I'm thinking I want to glue those down. what not to do I probably should have done this before I glued everything together but I didn't. I thought I had glue there, but it's the lace. Okay. I really, really love that. Um, okay, so I'm not sure if I want to add maybe a little pearl there or something. Um, I may look at doing that after I have sewn around it, partly because, you know, when you have a craft space with limited room, you tend to bury things. Well, that's happened, and I could get them out but I'm also worried that it may get in the way of my sewing machine. So I think I will sew them and decide whether I want to add a little bit of pearl or something to that once I've sewn around it. But I love it. I love it. It's not overdone to me and yet really, really, really pretty. So if I find a blank page... Yes, I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so I need to sew around that off camera. And 
how are we time we don't have a lot of time guys um i did want to make i have some book pages here out of my glue book that i was going to just do perhaps a little collage on I'm going to have to paper clip because it's going to get caught by my fan. I'm not sure I want straight edges, so Just oh, <laughs> I'm like I have a little piece of music. It's not big enough. I'm really just using scraps off my desk right now. I do have some rather large scraps, so thinking I want to Apparently I can't do this and talk at the same time. Oops. 
do I want to do? Sometimes it just doesn't come to you straight away. Um, I did find these last night. I'm not sure if I want to pop that there or whether I just want to use it as a focal point which I think would be really really pretty so it leads me to and I didn't have my big tub of scraps out so those. I'm sorry, I just don't have enough room on my desk to have them there while I look. It's been written on, I didn't realise. There's a definition for book there. Just not sure. I'm wondering if I just want a bigger piece of this paper across the top, I'm thinking. I was like, am I making it too complicated? And I feel like I was. Perfect. Love it. So what I think I will do is, once I've attached those and inked around it, I might find some lace glue across the top. And I just want something soft. I think that's perfect. And do I want my don't know I don't know if they're too big they might be really fun just on the page by themselves rather than on a pocket um, I do still have these little cards Maybe I will just do the pockets first and then worry about what I'm going to pop on them.
I just realized I haven't inked the pocket paper either. Now I did need to check and make sure that Hmm. I think they'll be okay. Pieces saying, Pick me, pick me. Okay. Just looking, I don't necessarily want to cover that writing, so don't know if this is really want to do. It's not working for me. It's kind of fun. I 
I'm loving that on there just as a textural element. And I do have this little scrap from my snippet roll. I think I'm just going to sew those on as they are. No rhyme or reason for their being, just they are. Do I want that over the top? No, I like that underneath. Okay. Again, I need to glue all my pieces down so I won't sew or glue anything on until I've done that. Oh, hubby's home. Sorry guys, I'm not very chatty because I'm trying to get these done before, well I was trying to get them done before I ran out of time and before hubby got home. So I'm just trying to finish them off. I really like that too. Very pretty. And I'm wondering if I may even sneaking a piece of lace across the bottom there, or do I want it across the top? Hmm. I'm not sure, the jury's out. What 
if I pop that there and need to push that up. I quite like that. I think I'll do that. Okay. Just for something a little different. Okay, so I will go ahead and I will finish those off camera. I haven't made my Rita Donnelly flips yet either, so that may be something I do off camera. I do need to make some journaling cards. Not sure whether I will be able to video that or not, but if I can, I will. I think that's really pretty. Okay, so they will be our three little pockets. Okay, so they are our three little pockets. I really, really love them. They're so, so pretty. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you soon. Happy crafting, everybody. Bye for now.